Hey up folks, here it is again after all this time, eh? another year's passed and it's Vlogmas, uh, Vlogmas day one. Uh, coming up on my vlog today I have got advent calendar unboxings, I've got my jigsaw gallery and there's a bit of footage about when we've been sort of sorting out the Christmas tree and the lights. Uh, also I'll be um, just doing a quick recap now as to what's coming up on my vlog in the next couple of weeks, well 24 days actually. There are going to be unboxings of jigsaws, there are going to be jigsaw galleries, there are going to be advent calendars, anagram quizzes, music quizzes, TV quizzes, you name it, it's going to be on here. Um, I'm also going to be doing other bits and bobs as well, reading, I've got a couple of books that I want to try and get through over the next few weeks. I've got uh, Christmas jigsaws to do, I've even got some Lego Brickheads figures to do as well. Uh, but coming up first, the advent calendars for day one. Hey up folks, it's that time of year again, Vlogmas Day 1, and Day 1 of the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Lego Advent Calendar. As you can see, it's fantastic quality. Uh, yeah. Right, we've got door 1. Door 1. Oh, we've got a character. We've got a character build. There he is, that's what I'll be building. And that's what he is. <laughs> so once I've built it, I'll put a little picture on it because uh, I'll be building it later today. And that's day one of the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Advent Calendar. Advent Calendar, a new one this year, as you've noticed. It is a jigsaw advent calendar from Gibson's. Um, anybody who knows me knows I love me jigsaws. So let's see how we get in it, shall we? First of all... Nice cardboard sleeve and the doors as you can see 1 to 24 and there's door 1 at the bottom let me just figure out how I'll get in it yep it's a push pull and a jigsaw but I don't know what it is until I do it and I'll time lapse that later on my vlog but there is a cool jigsaw That'll take me a good ooh, few hours, won't it, Deb? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And once I've finished it, you will see it on my vlog later when the dog hasn't fallen over my feet. And that's day one of the Gibson's Jigsaw Advent Calendar. Let's give it one, darling. Yes, please. Give it that one. There you go. That's the Christmas pudding one. That's all right. Give this one first. There you go, then. You need to take my fingers with it. Thank you. Do you want this? Are you sure? That was turkey stuffing and gravy. Ow! <laughs> that was me fingers. That was me fingers. Mum's got one. What are you Christmas pudding? Sit. Oh. 
not my feet. <laughs> it's trying to phone <laughs> You do? <laughs> okay, gentle. That was my fingers. <laughs> Good girl, all gone. We didn't want our fingers anyway. It's all gone. Oh, oh, bless you, all gone. All gone, you've had three. All gone. All gone. Driving a nuts because you can still smell them. Look. <laughs> you can't eat the bag. <laughs> you are all wally, aren't you? No, it's all gone. Look. <laughs> it's plastic. You can't eat that. Oh, dear me. What a dog. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> Not now, Fabio. <laughs> all gone. All gone. Mm. Right down. Mm. All gone. So, as you can see, I have got a jigsaw puzzle to do, and I've also got a Lego figure to build. Uh, the figure, by the way, is Star-Lord, in case you were wondering if you saw the picture. If you're a Guardians of the Galaxy fan, you'd have got that anyway. Uh, the jigsaw I'm going to be doing uh, later on in this vlog. You'll be able to see that in a bit. Now, what have we been doing since I last spoke? Let me think. It's been a bit of a strange one, really, because obviously this year's flu. I really do think this year's flu, and now I've got to the first day of my vlogmas already. I have no idea. I really don't. Uh, a couple of recaps on things which I spoke about in my last vlog, which has been a month, by the way. I left it an entire month, so you've got a month full of jigsaws coming up, which is about six, I think, altogether. Um, some brilliant videoing as well from my wife that who did the videos of the jigsaws. But... Uh, I remember telling you that I was having a bit of a run-in about uh, certain things that are companies I'm dealing with. Now, my wife had a box, uh, a macrame box, um, from a company called Studio Dawn. Now, I'm just warning you about this. They are not good company. They are not a good company because, so far, they've taken four payments out of our bank for boxes, even though I only signed up to a three-month subscription. And we've only received two boxes. Now, I've messaged. I've been told that, yes, the box will be sent out. Sorry, we didn't send it yet. That was about six weeks ago. I still haven't had anything. And they took another payment out on the 15th of November, which I'm not happy about because I only signed up to three months. So despite me emailing them several times, I've got all the emails and also at the top of each one, I put second time of sending, third time of sending, and they still haven't replied. So I'm going to leave them a negative review on Trustpilot. So if anybody's thinking of having a Studio Dawn macrame box, don't. Because they are very, very unreliable. Now normally I'm on here and reviewing boxes and stuff and giving good reviews. But I cannot give a good review of this company. I cannot. Um, I can't even give it more than two stars. And that, that's basically for the two kits which my wife had. One was coasters and one was a sort of wine bottle holder type thing. But we should have had two more boxes and we've received nothing despite the money coming out the bank. Now I want, I'm going to try and get myself a full refund for these two boxes because the 30 odd pounds each, I think it's 70 pounds for the two boxes that we paid that we have not received. And I just think at this day and age it's disgusting to be honest with you. Now this woman who owns a place or runs a place is called Chelsea and she keeps posting about oh she's going to Europe in the new year and because of her business she's been able to afford this, be able to afford that. Well I'm sorry but if you treat your customers how you've treated us then I'm sorry you shouldn't have a business at all. I'm absolutely disgusted to be honest because it was a present I bought for my wife and it was supposed to be a lovely nice relaxing thing because that's what macrame is, it's a relaxing hobby. It's just basically doing stuff using knots and stuff like that and, and, and uh, different different threads and what have you. And my wife absolutely loved it. Um, but this has really, you know, put a downer on it. Because like I said, I bought it her as a present for three months to see what she thought about it. I never ever dreamed that it would end up as bad as this. So that's called Studio Dawn and they're a macrame subscription box. Don't touch them, honestly, do not touch them. Unless you have better luck than we do. 
So that was that. I've also been having fun with a company called Domestic and General. Now, if anybody from the UK, you know Domestic and General is an insurance provider. And about, ooh, what, five, six weeks ago, our Hoover decided underneath where the brushes are, there's two plastic strips and they snapped off. I don't know whether it was from cold or because we've had it for three years or what. Anyway, I got in touch with Domestic and General. They said, right, um, here's a reference number. Ring Hoover uh, Candy Repairs. They will sort you out. So I rung Hoover Candy Repairs and I left a message. Uh, sorry, I spoke to a woman called Jackie who took all my details. Um, and then when she went away to sort it all out, um, it disconnected me. And I ended up on a uh, survey thing at the end of the call saying, what did I think of today's service? Well, of course, I rang back. I got hold of somebody else. They said that, um, yes, it was all set up and everything. And I've just got, but they couldn't do a repair on it because um, they only do large appliances. He suggested sending, this was, this was a guy called Peter. He suggested sending the part through the post. And I said, well, that's fine. If all I've got to do is just unscrew the other one and put this one in, that's absolutely brilliant. We don't mind that. Anyway, three weeks passed and still nothing. So I got back in touch with him and I asked to speak to Peter. Anyway, he said it's Peter who's picked up the phone and I told him about this call because I recognised his voice straight away because he speaks foreign. And I don't mean foreign as in Asian foreign. I mean, he sounds more like European, Western European, uh, Eastern European. Anyway, I said to him, you know, I spoke to you a couple of weeks ago. No, no, nobody called Peter. Nobody, nobody called Peter here took that call. I said, I'm sorry. I said, but they did. I said, and they set me up an account. And he went onto the computer. No account. He hadn't set me up an account at all. So by this time I was fuming because our Hoover was literally hardly working. You couldn't pick anything up with it. You used to have to pick it up and drop it down onto whatever you wanted to pick up, which obviously defeats the, the um, it defeats the object of having the Hoover. So I waited, I waited, and uh, the guy said to me, "Yeah," he said, um, "I've, I've authorised it now," and he said, "Give uh, Domestic in General a ring. Give him this code." So I rung Domestic in General, gave him a code, spoke to Nicola. Nicola said, right, I've just gone on, I've just got to go and make sure it's all okay. So she disappeared, she comes back, she said, I've had a word with Hoover, uh, Hoover Candy, he said they can't repair it. She said, so I've put in for a new one for you, you should get a text message within the next three to four hours. Two weeks later, nothing. So I got in touch again, spoke to a guy called Keith Kyron, Kyron, and uh, I said, I spoke to Nicola a couple of weeks ago and she did such and such. And he looked on the account, he said, nothing's been authorised here. He said, she hasn't done anything. I said, well, she told me she had. She told me she'd got permission to basically get me a new Hoover. No, nothing's been authorised here. I was like, oh, this is taking six weeks. Six weeks this has been going on. I thought, this is just to get a Hoover repaired or replaced. I'm paying insurance. What am I paying it for? So anyway, he said... I've sorted it all out for you. You will get a text message. It won't be within four to five hours. She shouldn't have told you that. It could take up to four to five days. Anyway, two days later, I got a text message saying that it all gone through okay. And if I, if I wanted to, I could click on this link, go and pick a Hoover from the ones that they'd recommended. So I went on, picked it, got an email off AO, because they were the ones dealing with it, AO.com, you know, the electrical distributors. And it said, yes, we will deliver it on this day between this time and this time. The next day I got another email saying that it was definitely on for the day after, which was fine because that's what they did organised. I even got a text message in the morning to say that it would be between 9, 9.13 and 1.13. And it came in between them hours. They were brilliant, AO were. The Hoover turned up and now everything works. Great, fantastic. Day later, I got a phone call from Domestic in General that tells me, the old insurance policy has now been cancelled, but don't worry because they're switching us straight on to a new insurance policy. And I said, oh no, you are not. And he said, what do you mean? I said, look, I said, I've just spent six weeks trying to sort out a repair to a Hoover. I do not want insurance with you no more. I said, I will put it on my home insurance and claim it through that. And he wasn't too happy like, but I said, at the end of the day, that's how they've treated me. So that's how I am now. And they even have the nerve to ask me if I want anything else insuring with them. I'm like, I wouldn't insure anything with you. Not a thing. Because we bought this Hoover three years ago. Now, you get a 12-month warranty anyway, but we obviously we've been paying insurance on it for two extra years. Now, we pay about £6 a month. Now, if you work that out for 12 months, that's £72. For two years, that's £144 we paid in insurance. And the Hoover is £80 to replace. So... It isn't worth paying the insurance, to be honest. It wasn't worth paying the insurance because 
they've literally just given us the exact same model as the one we had before, which they told they no longer make the parts for. But they sent us that exact same hoover. It isn't a model up or a model anything else. It is the same hoover. Same colour, same specifications. Everything is absolutely the same. So that's, do that's domestic in general that I've been dealing with. It's all been go, to be honest with you. It's all been go. Uh, coming up now, I'm going to show you the pre-Christmas lights and then a bit of footage of the tree after the lights were on it. So, uh, yeah. That will be it for my vlog for today. I'm not going to do much more than that. I've got me uh, also, obviously, after I finish showing you this footage, there'll be my jigsaw gallery, and there'll also be the two builds which I'm doing of the advent calendars that you've just seen me open. So you all take care, and I will do vlogmas day two tomorrow. I wonder what we'll get in the calendars.
Right, here we go folks. This is what was in my advent calendar for day one of the Marvel Avengers, sorry, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oops, I can't even get in the bag. Hold on a minute. Not very good with things like this. Right, here's the bits. Scatter the bits all over the place. As you can see, they're right in front of me. Put them like that, you can see them even better. Now, got his legs. His legs. Legs. Body. Got to make sure to put this on the right way because otherwise I'll feel like a right plum. Nope. Nope. I'm putting him on back to front here. His legs are facing the wrong way. Right. There is him and his body. Right. Put his head on. What I like about this is he's actually got two faces. You can see him there. Yeah, see his face. I'll zoom in. See his face. Whoa, a bit too blurred that. There's his face, but you can actually turn his head round. Mm. And he's smiling. <laughs> How cool is that? Right, so, right. Let's put him on right way now. Let's make sure I've got him on right way anyway. Right, that's there. His arms are there. Right, there he is. Star Lord. Right, Star Lord. We'll put him his hair on, because he'll look better with hair, won't he? <laughs> There's his hair. Wee. Hey. Getting there now, anyway. Getting there. Oop, getting there. Right. I've got to make sure to do this right because I've not done this one before, so it's new one on me. I'm probably going to do this wrong. You do realise that, don't you, folks? You do realise that. I don't know what I'm doing here, actually. I'll put him his weapons in his hands first. How is that? Let's put him his weapons in his hands. Whoops. Would help if I got the fingers right on it. There's one. Oh, it doesn't want to go in. Oh dear. You can tell I'm not very good at these, can't you? Especially when they're tiny. Tiny always puts me off. Right, let's have a go. If I put this on back to front, I apologise. I probably have. It's probably just me. I don't know how these go on here, so I'm just going to have a rough guess. I don't know if I put them on the right place actually. Whoops. Oh, now he's on skates, isn't he? Duh. Ignore me. I flipped. Sorry, folks. Whoops. This is what you get when you try and do stuff too quick. Am I right? Am I wrong? There's one. And wow, whoa! There's two. Who's on his roller skates? Whoop. Bring him over here and then you can see him properly. Whoop. When he stands up, hold on. Can I? Oh, I just took his head off. Sorry. Hold on a minute. E D. Told you I'm never good at these, don't I? They're too tiny. I've got his hair completely wrong. <laughs> I've just turned him into David Bowie nearly then. Right. I've got to get his weapons now, haven't I? So let's see if I can get his weapons in his hands finally. Doesn't look like it, does it? Aha! There's one. There's one gun. For some reason I've got spare guns. I don't know why I'm supposed to, why I'm, if I'm supposed to have spare guns, but I've got them. Just hold on a sec. There you go. And there is. Completely set up wrong, I know, but never mind, it'll do for me. I don't know whether he will stand up actually, he might do. He might do, he might do. He might not. Doesn't look like he's going to, does it? No, his foot's fall off. <laughs> but there you go. That's what that's what today's is anyway. It's Star Lord. And I'll just show you him close up. Look, there he is. Star Lord. Sorry, it keeps going out of focus. That's Star Lord. He's pretty cool, isn't he? He's the first figure in my Lego 
Marvel Avengers of the Galaxy Advent Calendar. Cool. Now here we have the first jigsaw in my uh, Gibson's jigsaw advent calendar. Uh, I don't know how easy it's going to be or hard or what. The shapes of the pieces are quite interesting actually. Some of them are weird shapes. This one's triangle I think this one. Looks triangular. Yep it's triangular. There's the three corners of the triangle as you can see. I don't know whether you can see that from there. You can if you do that. Look three triangles. So them are the three corners of it, which is fine. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Ignore me, I'm just uh, making weird noises and trying to do tunes while I'm doing this, which <laughs> doesn't usually work, but there we go. As you can see, it's coming together. Got bits all over the place here. Come out. Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. It's obviously a Christmas decoration, which I like the idea of. Um, I think that's quite novel to be honest i've not i've not seen a christmas uh advent calendar before like this i'm just gonna see if i can get it built then we know what we're batting with don't we hmm? we know what we're batting with right yep it's coming together nice it is it's coming together nice And the beauty of this, by the way, I uh, found out once I bought it, believe it or not, is that when it is finished, it can actually be glued together and hung from your Christmas tree. Which is absolutely fantastic idea, I think, isn't it? I think it's a wonderful idea. Very unique concept. Um, like I say, it's all... You know what I'm like with jigsaws anyway. If you watch me vlogs, you know what I'm like with jigsaws. I absolutely love doing jigsaw puzzles. And this one's coming on quite nice, actually, as I'm looking at it now. It's about to get a bit trickier, I think. I'm just looking. Dori do. I don't know how your plans for Christmas are going. Mine aren't going too bad at the moment. All all stuff and that. Because we've got family visiting for Christmas we have. We've got people coming over from Austria to visit us. Which will be ve de definitely very, very cool. Because one of the people we'll be seeing is somebody I've never met. And Deb hasn't seen since she was, I think it was eight. Eight years old, something like that. Seven, eight years old. So... You know, these aren't people we see regularly, or Deb for that matter. Just hold up that little bit, look. You can see what it's going to be. It's going to be a star of some sort. A star. Oops. It's not actually as easy as you might think this. Not exactly, you know, a doddle, shall we say. But the pieces are coming together nicely. They are going to put them in the right place. Mm. No. Aha! Gotcha! <laughs> yeah, definitely coming together now. Oops. Did want to put pieces in there, didn't I?
Isn't that just typical, eh? Just when I was uh, showing you the jigsaw, I had a knock on the door. Um, it was uh, basically our dog's tablets. Uh, we give her a thing called Apoqual because she's got skin allergies and uh, the lady at the vet's drops them off for us. So that's why I just had to pause it for a second while I uh, sorted that out. Right, here we go. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I'm looking for a piece it's right in front of my eyes. Typical when you're doing a jigsaw that is. Almost guarantee the piece you're looking for was right in front of your eyes and you just can't see it. You, know? you look and you think, oh, it's... no it isn't. <coughs> Great piece there. Pudding in the corner. Right, here we are. We are nearly finished, folks, for the first one. We are nearly finished. So we joined it together. An arm. A face. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying before, and uh, Christmas is going to be interesting this year. Very interesting. And very, very busy. So, of course, Deb's working herself silly at the moment. Now, the jigsaw is complete. Look at that. How cool is that? And it's a Christmas decoration. You can actually glue them together and have them as Christmas decorations. And on the back, it's all stars. So that is the first jigsaw in the Gibson's jigsaw advent calendar. And as you can see, it is quite smart. Just as you do that, out she goes. Not amused. No. Stage number three, table moved. Did you? Mm -hmm. 
Going again. Yep. Mm. Your thumb printer. Can I stop now? So you push my hand into the flipping settee. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What? Mm. I'm sorry, I've nicked your bed, Bobby. There's a rug, though. Yeah, I was going to say, you were quite happy lying on the rug. You've got a rug? I'm sorry I nicked your bed. You'd be quite happy lying on the rug, wouldn't you? Rather than you trip over the coffee table in the middle of the room. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what you want. You're, not, you're only about three hours early for your chicken. Yeah. Treat, is it that mate? It's a jigsaw, you can't you can't eat that. Mm. 